Hey guys, it's Deb. I'm here to make a uh, tag. And what I'm using today is these chipboard pieces that we all picked up from Michael's for a dollar. So instead of making a mini album, I'm going to use them as tags. So the first thing I did was to save on time was to cut out some pieces of scrap paper that I'm going to adhere to it and ink it up. I also brought some stamps from Paperback Studios. This is Lil and Zoe. Their stamps are outrageous. Look at how beautiful that came out. This is the stamp. And I um, <clears throat> stamped it on here with um, Stays On Black. And then I colored them with chalk. I don't know if anybody tried using chalks. But I love blending the different colored chalks. It makes it look uh, a little vintage. And you can do a lot of shading with the chalks. I prefer these more than the markers. So I did that to save a little time. Um, when I was looking at them, I said to myself, boy, these are timeless. They are so cute. Lily and Zoe. So with that in mind, timeless, I went through my stash and I picked out these stickers that I have that say a moment in time, time stands still, and um, different clocks on it. You can see it. There you go. So what I did also is after I took these out, I noticed that the back cover had all these prints stamped on their clocks. So I cut a clock out. So I plan on using that too on the tag. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is ink the edges of my paper before I put it down. And I'll use the, the vintage photo. I'll put this down because I'm making a mess out of my mat. And I just go around the whole thing like this because um, I like to... Uh, go a little bit darker and then a little bit lighter as I get to the inside and this I didn't tear this side because this hangs over a little I'm gonna end up cutting it so I'll probably put that like that and it's okay if you um, leave some of the board showing okay so because I show you what I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do there And just go around and ink this up. And I just went through my bag of scraps and just picked out a whole bunch of different things that I thought looked cute together. And I picked up a little red, pink, because um, Zoe, I guess the little girl is called Zoe. She has, I made her dress pink. So we're going to put that down there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little gesso. Now the reason why I'm using this is because I'm going to use my oil pastels. Um, I said before, if you haven't tried them, <clears throat> use your coupons at Michael's. And um, Joann's might even have them. And pick up some oil pastels. They look like this. And they have, you know, larger where you get more colors, but this is enough for me right now. We just got our lights back on here in uh, Long Island. They were out all night. We were freezing underneath the covers, everybody. So I'm only doing around the sides because when I put the paper down, if I'm short, I'm going to let the chipboard show through. Oh, sorry. I was off camera there for a minute. I'm just painting around it. All right. That's on my board. My poor quilting mat. Alright. So let me just heat this up to get this dry. Because I don't want to make this into two 10 minute segments. I don't know how to um, get the, the camera to go fast. I'll have to get my husband to help me with that. Or email somebody that does it on their videos. Okay, so these I'm just going to glue down, and I've been using gel media because I've been doing a lot of um, mixed media, so I love the gel medium. Alright, so let's put this on the back of this. Alright, 
And I have a feeling I'm going to have to make this into another segment. But I, I don't want to, you know, rush it. Um, I want to show you everything that I do. The process. So hopefully somebody out there will learn something. Um, that's why I do this. So pass on ideas and to help everybody grow in their art. Okay, so this I'm going to just put down like that. Okay, now this side I'm just going to tear it again. And I like to show some of the board. And I'm just going to ink this up a little. And by putting down the um, gesso, it, look at it, by making different marks, if you just put down your ink on there, it gives you a lot of different um, markings, makes it look a bit vintage. All right. And now I'm going to put this piece down. And it's okay if I get a little gel on my, uh, on my paper. Put that down. And then this little piece at the bottom. Now I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I haven't planned this. I'm kind of just winging it. I just picked out what I think I want to put on it. Okay. And this hangs over a little. That's fine. All right. Now, my little girls, my Zoe and Lil, I'm going to cut them out because uh, I stamped this on a piece of chipboard to make it real firm. And I'm going to pop them up, I think, in the middle. We'll see. I, I don't want them flat. I want them to be popped. So. Let's get this around here. I'm leaving a little bit white around them. It makes it a little bit more interesting, I think. And I'm going to get in here which is rough, it's a little tight. These says it's have glue on them. My table's a mess, who wants to clean it up? I don't want to spend time cleaning it up, I'm too busy creating, it feels great. I was so mad when the lights were out. I was like, oh my God, I feel like I need an extra day. Like I missed a whole day. Because what can you do when your house is freezing? And we had cereal and I told everybody, don't open the refrigerator up too many times. And because I'm leaving a little white, I think maybe I'll use um, just a s drop of the walnut stain on that white. And that's when I'm going to come in off my paper. That's when I'm going to be more concerned about how I use it. I didn't wasn't concerned on this. All right, so now I'm going to take this, put this down, and I'm going to gently, gently come off my paper onto her edge just so I hit that white that I cut out around her. So go to Paperback Studios. They have great stamps. And uh, Robin Marie, I think, is the owner. If you have any questions, you email her. She gets right back to you. Okay, so there. There is Zoe and Lil. Lil and Zoe. Okay. So they're all set to be popped on the front. All right, and I think we're going to run out of time in a little while, but all right, so now the next thing I want to do is I want to take some colors from their, their dresses and add it onto the page. This I think I'm going to put down here. So let me prepare the clock. Now these stickers I have, I think I'm going to put timeless on it, but I want to get these hands. These are cool. I could actually use the stuff that I have from uh, Tim. Look at it hangs over. Isn't that cute? I don't even care that it hangs over. Alright, we're running out of time. Come for part two. Don't miss out.